One of the vital lessons of the pandemic is that virtual learning is here to stay, but it has a lot of room for improvement. Teachers, principals, and district leaders should be thinking hard about making remote learning better, especially if they are planning to continue to offer it even as most students have returned to school buildings. We want to help ease the transition, but we also want to do more. Microsoft Teams for Education can provide an online classroom that brings together virtual, face-to-face -face connections, assignments, files, and conversations in a single platform accessible on a mobile device, tablet, PC, or browser. To help make this process as simple as possible, we have created a best practice guide for school leaders in IT to help their students and staff communicate remotely. Once Teams is ready, educators and staff can create their class in Teams, add selected students, share lessons, make assignments, collaborate virtually in real time, do grading, and provide personalized feedback all in one hub. Sustained discussion with effective presentations from a distance. Giving class presentations has become so simple nowadays. No need for projectors or external screens. Students can easily present to the entire class by sharing their laptop screens in Microsoft Teams meetings. Just click the share screen icon and choose which window will be presented. You can also show a film by sharing your system audio in a meeting. The ability to share system audio allows the attendees to hear only the sound of a video or audio clip playing on the presenter's screen. During a lesson, you can moderate the class discussion by muting students, making them presenters, or if needed, removing them from the meeting. Know how to access your student's inner talk show host with the spotlight feature. It is easy for students to tune out during online instruction. So, teachers should channel their inner Oprah Winfrey. Lock the presenter video as the main view for all participants and let their focus be on you. Have the discussion more interactive. Encourage students to ask questions and use the chat feature. Record session and be deliberate about how you use time. Virtual teachers should make the most of both synchronous time when students are all participating in real time and asynchronous time when they may be watching a video, reading for an assignment, or working in groups outside of regular class time. Record any class session in case some students cannot join the live session. Just click the record button. Once the meeting ends, the recorded session can be reviewed anytime. It is also a good idea to keep lectures or any videos short and simple or else kids will start to tune out. If you go with a packaged curriculum tailored for online learning, choose the best tool suits for your school. Schools should use a packaged curriculum specifically tailored to online learning. It should serve as just one teaching tool and have flexibility built into it. Microsoft Whiteboard is integrated with Teams which brings lessons to life and makes a lesson interactive during a live lesson. With this, you can give access to students and have them come up to the whiteboard and solve a math problem or demonstrate their art skills, just like they would in a physical classroom. Integrate active, hands-on learning into virtual environments using the raise your hand feature. Remember that students can hold up their work to the camera. Teachers should use engagement strategies like asking students to give a thumbs up or thumbs down sign with their hands or using a computer emoji to show if they do or do not understand something. In Microsoft Teams, students can be seen and heard without disrupting other students using the raise your hand feature. Once the student gets the teacher's attention, he or she may speak accordingly. They can also use a quick poll during the meeting so students can answer specific questions. With this, the teacher can see who got the answers right or wrong, but the students cannot. Have a plan for determining when students can turn their video conferencing cameras on and off. Either way, use the custom background feature. There is no question that video platforms make it easier for kids to hide. Virtual students can keep their cameras off, mute themselves, and even mute the class, leaving only a black box with their name on it. Depending on school rules, or just their teaching philosophy, teachers may or may not be able to stop that from happening. Some kids may not have the ideal study area and feel most comfortable with their cameras off. So how can teachers make sure they aren't off playing Minecraft, instead of engaging in class? 
Advise them to blur their meeting background, choose a free image, or upload their own with a custom background feature. Just click the camera icon, or place the cursor at the camera icon to customize the virtual background before turning it on. Build meaningful strategies to encourage greater collaboration. Just because students are not in the same physical room does not mean they cannot work together. Giving kids the chance to collaborate on their learning may be even more important in a virtual context. Make discussions and teamwork easier by dividing classes into smaller groups using breakout rooms. With this, students will get a chance to tell each other what they observe about each other's work, ask questions, and offer constructive feedback. We hope these help you create an engaging remote learning environment in which both students and educators can stay connected. We recognize navigating this way of learning presents challenges that are new to just about everyone impacted. Our team is available to answer questions you have about remote learning. Comment down below your favorite Microsoft Teams feature and get a shout out on our next video. Stay in touch and let us know what more we can do. Follow our social media accounts. And do not forget to subscribe.